Ah, uh, Fight Roy Bridged. You're very welcome to another video from Gun Dog and Fly. And today, I think it's the 29th of March, and the season is 29, well, starting on the 17th. And um, fishing has been very, very sparse indeed. The rivers have been flooded virtually all the time. Some of them are out in the fields. Unbelievable amounts of rain have fallen in the last fortnight or so, and more projected. So unfortunately I don't have any fishing videos for you at the moment, but I thought what else to do but tie a good fly. So what I'm going to show you today is a generic dry fly that will work in almost all conditions and uh, it's very very easy to tie. Any fly tire will be able to handle this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play you out, hopefully, I've had a few issues with copywriting so far. I, I wanted to um, show you a little bit more music, uh, my son playing the guitar and uh, I spent almost three hours editing a video one day um, with music in it and it was turned down by YouTube as a result of copyright issues. So let's hope the same thing doesn't happen with this one. So I'm going to try that fly now and then Sean is going to play you out with another brick in the wall, Pink Floyd. Okay, the hook I'm going to use is one of these there, Partridge size 14 clink hammer. Now any curved hook will do you, but these are particularly good for this particular fly. Now, the tying thread I'm using is Sample Fly uh, Classic Waxed 80 in Olive. Now you can vary the body colour. You can vary the hackle when I get to it, I'll show you about that, but start off here making the body with just touching turns of the olive thread. And bring it all the way down around the bend. Now, you can just wind the thread back up along to this point here and just have a plain olive body but if you want to rivet just a permanent marker black and as I go back up along open turns and we have a ribbed fly now that's the body complete now you like I said you can change the body color use a different base thread and then um, colour it with different permanent markers to get different segmented body effects but olive is a good all-rounder. Now this is the hackle I'm going to use, this is a grizzle dyed olive, um, comes off a saddle and uh, it's quite long which is necessary to tie this fly so I'm going to tie that in. Now you'll note that I'm quite a bit back from the eye, the reason for that will be apparent in a second. Now. Make two or three wraps and then tie it in, just a turn of thread. Two or three more wraps and again tie it in. We want to get as much hackle as we can on there. So that's quite a few turns now, this stage. Now, I'm going to tie it off. This particular pattern with the olive body is a really good fly early in the season for, um, what do you call it, for the, representing the large dark olive. In this size this is a 14. Now what I'm doing is I'm bringing my fingers and thumb down and I'm going behind. Now I know that's difficult to see I'll try and make it as easy as I can. I've gone behind what I've done is I bunched the hackle up on top 
now we've got in front again. There we are. And finish with a whip finish. Now, just cut any of the little stray fibres that are still underneath. And there you go folks, that's very simple, generic an emerging fly. The body is um, sinks just under the surface and because we have so much hackle up here the fly floats particularly well so the fact that the body is under the water it won't sink the whole fly. The fly will float extremely well but uh, a little touch of floatant of some kind into the hackle fibres will also help in that regard. So that's it folks it's uh, like I said it's a simple fly, but an extremely effective one. And you can tie it in a variety of sizes, all the different colours and varieties, and you can dub the body, but I find that the just the plain thread body with a rib or even without the rib works just fine. There's no need for any elaborations on it. And uh, tie it in different sizes, tie it in smaller sizes as the season goes on, but for the beginning of the season very hard to beat as a large dark olive representation. So don't be without that in your fly box. Uh, now we're going to have a little bit of music. So, I'm going to reach live on Kedor and Aslan. Go forward.